All right, what's up, guys? Foxy coming to you guys here with a brand new video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I've been getting multiple requests to do a tier list for Call of Duty. I don't really know what to do for content right now because Black Ops Cold War is kind of stale. But today's tier list is going to be the Call of Duty games tier list thing. It's going to be every game besides COD Mobile and Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. But I'm going to be considering every single game as a complete game. I'm not talking about just multiplayer. I'm not talking about just campaign. I'm talking about the game as a whole. So number one, we have Call of Duty 1, the game that started it all. I didn't play this game. I actually didn't play the first four games. I know, Modern Warfare. I, I, I didn't play it in its prime. Uh, cut me some slack right now. So Call of Duty 1, I'm just going to simply put in B tier just because it's the game that started it all. Actually, no, we're going to put it in C tier. Call of Duty 2 is going to go in B tier. Pretty much everyone I've talked to has said that Call of Duty 2 is the game that really started off multiplayer as like it's not like call of duty 4 hype but it's one of the games that you could say really started multiplayer for cod and gave it a better experience i've heard that cod 3 is not that great so we're just gonna put that in d tier all right so now we're gonna get into the real nitty gritty of all these games and some of you are not gonna like what i have to say <laughs> but that's okay that's okay this is my opinion and I'm not really gonna worry about what anyone else thinks. Now, Call of Duty 4 took what all these three games did and made it better. So Call of Duty 4 is an S tier. Call of Duty 4 is probably the most revolutionary game out of all of these games because it just changed the way that everyone played Call of Duty. Without Call of Duty 4, there would be no create a class, there would be no kill streaks, and there would be no perks. There would be none of that stuff. In addition to the awesome multiplayer that people continue to play in place of World at War, Call of Duty 4 offers an awesome campaign and the characters in there are just can't be replaced. Price, Gaz, you playing as Soap, and just the missions, you know, the nuclear going off in the Middle East during this game is insane. And then obviously you have iconic missions like all gillied up and one shot, one kill. And those are just, those just stand the test of time as far as Call of Duty games go. Next, we have Call of Duty World at War. In my opinion, it's an underrated game. A lot of people look at it as, oh, it's just Call of Duty 4, but World War II setting, World War II streaks, World War II guns, things like that. And that's pretty much what it is. However, the campaign is completely barbaric. It's a way crazier and brutal and just in your face than Modern Warfare is. So the campaign, in my opinion, for World of War is better than Call of Duty 4. You get a real sense of how crazy World War II was with World at War, and so that's why I think the campaign is way better. Iconic characters like Reznov, who would eventually, you know, make their way into the Black Ops games as well. The campaign is just right there, bro. It's it's up there. I would consider World at War a top five and possibly top three campaign of all time. For Call of Duty at least. Now the multiplayer, broken ass MP40, all that stuff. I mean, like Call of Duty 4 had you know, the M16 and the M and the AK-74U. Like I said before, this game was revolutionary. So I'm going to stick World at War at a B tier for now. You know what? No, we're going to stick Call of Duty World at War as an A tier because of zombies. Call of Duty 4 didn't have a third game mode. It was only campaign and it was multiplayer. However, World at War brought in that third game mode of Nazi zombies. That's what I remember playing a lot of back during World at War. Me and my friends, we would always play Noct and we would play Doris and we would play so much zombies. That plus an awesome multiplayer and a badass campaign equals A tier for me. All right, Modern Warfare 2. Well, it's an S tier. The campaign is completely batshit and like it's I can't even say it. It's just batshit insane. Modern Warfare 2 is the first Call of Duty multiplayer that I know lifed and I had a ton of fun doing it. Yeah, One Man Army, Danger Close, Commando Pro. Yeah, all those like really suck. <laughs> but that's what made Modern Warfare 2 so crazy. Modern Warfare 2's maps in and of itself are an S tier. I would put almost every single Modern Warfare 2 map as an S tier, except maybe a couple. The campaign was like an action-packed movie. You never knew what was happening. And when Shepard betrays you, you're just left sitting there wondering what the hell you're supposed to do now because you just didn't see it coming. Modern Warfare 2 also had Spec Ops, which was the counter to Nazi zombies. Now, Spec Ops is not as good as zombies, as a lot of people know. And it's completely different from zombies. However, I thought that Spec Ops was something that they could evolve on and, and they could eventually flesh it out to make Spec Ops become its own thing that would be set for the modern warfare games for years to come one man army danger close is super annoying to die to but when everyone's running around with it it doesn't really seem like it's unbalanced the multiplayer is broken however it's fun we have customized kill streaks for the first time ever in a call of duty game which was insane you could call in a tactical nuke that's awesome that's just give me that every single time just give me that black ops one 
is an S tier. <laughs> Black Ops 1 has the best campaign in any Call of Duty. I will argue that until the day I die. The characters are awesome too, with Reznov coming back from World of War, and then you have Mason and Woods and Krevchenko and Steiner and all these guys just like coming through. Man, please. This campaign is the best campaign in the franchise. Black Ops 1 also has my favorite zombies, with the map 5 being chased around by the Pentagon thief while you're either hearing one-liners from JFK, Robert McNamara, Richard Nixon, or Fidel Castro. It's the greatest thing ever. I wish they had done that for Cold War. I wish they had taken like four leaders from the Cold War, the, the campaign, like they could have had like Reagan and Nixon and a couple others, and they could have done that. Could have done the same thing. It would have been awesome. I would, oh, it's such a missed opportunity. This is when I used to play a lot of zombies as well as multiplayer. We saw the return of Darius and Noct, and we also got Call of the Dead. Just an awesome zombies game. Just And on top of that, Dead Ops Arcade, dude. Like, you can't go wrong with it. Everyone already knows how the multiplayer is in Black Ops 1. Black Ops 1's multiplayer is really, really good. And it's just got a ton of guns. I mean, a lot of the SMGs are pretty much useless, except the 74U and maybe the MP5K. But it's, it just gave you a lot of variety as far as weapons, kill streaks customization and things like that it was just awesome it was just a, a great multiplayer experience the maps are memorable just like modern warfare 2 you know wmd firing range nuketown we got for the first time just so many maps but the guns are fun to use the gameplay is great and it's just it's just a fun time to play black ops 1 multiplayer uh we have modern warfare 3 and modern warfare 3 in my opinion uh was a game that I really loved back in the day. I still love Modern Warfare 3. However, Modern Warfare 3 is very similar to Modern Warfare 2. If you showed me gameplay of one versus the other, I would know which one is Modern Warfare 3 and which one is Modern Warfare 2. Uh, however, I just think that Modern Warfare 3 kind of feels like an expansion on MW2. Like almost, it was like a $50 DLC almost. I mean, of course there's different maps and the guns are way different. They look different at least for the most part. Um, the UI is still the same pretty much and same with like emblems and calling cards and stuff like that And I'll take into the fact that Infinity Ward and Activision kind of had their whole spiel where the original team that made Modern Warfare 2 and all this stuff left However, I really loved MW3 So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put MW3 in an A tier The campaign was pretty much a culmination of Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2 put into one game and you could say the same thing about the multiplayer as well. We also got survival, which was really cool. I wish they had expanded on that a little bit more and spec ops returned as well. So, I mean, it wasn't a bad game. I just feel like it was one of those things where a lot of stuff got recycled. However, the counter argument that I would make if someone said this to me was the whole spiel with Infinity Ward and Activision. And on top of that, if Modern Warfare 3 didn't have an ACR, I would have been disappointed because the ACR in MW2 was one of the fan favorites. There's a lot of guns, in my opinion, that should have been in this game, and they were. This game also got rid of a decent amount of bullshit that was in Modern Warfare 2. One Man Army noob tubes, Danger Close, things like that. Obviously, there's Dead Man's Hand still. Okay, <laughs> now we're about to get into something that... I'm not very proud of. Everyone that watches this channel knows that I did not play Black Ops 2 in its prime. However, I know that Black Ops 2 is an S tier game. There's no arguing this, in my opinion. There's really no arguing the fact that Black Ops 2 has great maps, fantastic gunplay, awesome zombies, dope campaign. When I went and played this game for the first time ever back in 2016, it was actually when I made a YouTube video on it, crazy enough. I remember saying, man, I wish I had played this in its prime because it was so fun. This game had pretty much had a three year life cycle because after this game came out, there was Ghost and AW and there were still people playing Black Ops 2 until Black Ops 3 came out. The campaign was awesome because there were multiple scenarios and multiple outcomes. That was the first time Call of Duty had ever done that with campaign. So that's really cool. The multiplayer, introducing the pick 10 which i don't really like pick 10 but it was one of those things where it was different and they tried to do something different and revolutionary to change the way the call of duty was played there was a ton of kill streaks and all the kill streaks were badass the guns were awesome obviously you had meta guns like the uh, msmc the maa1 but sniping is really fun in this game as well black ops 2 zombies is fun it's just a little bit too complex for me i like simple things like black ops 1 
but I, I know how good it is. You know, I'm not going to sit here and deny how good it is based on how I feel. You guys are probably going to be like, all right, you're doing it for the next games. Oh, yep. Yeah, well, here we go. All right, Call of Duty Ghost. Um, so yeah, yeah it's a bad, bad, bad game. Uh, in my opinion, Ghost is not that great of a game. The Ghost has the best hit detection in any Call of Duty. Uh, they tried a new streak system, which was cool. I don't like it but you know it's it just doesn't work if it ain't broke don't fix it I, I gotta remember at this time a lot of people had been a lot of people were saying that call of duty was just a repetitive game i remember people saying this after mw3 and that's why i didn't play black ops 2 in its prime was because i just kept playing mw3 a lot of people were just like oh cod is just played out at this point it's the same thing every year blah 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 well ghost tried to come back and do something a little bit different and then people ended up hating it so that just tells you how you can't please the call of duty audience however ghost campaign is decent a lot of people say oh it's amazing but it's really not it's kind of cliche and it's okay in my opinion it's nothing amazing um a lot of people want a ghost too because of the cliffhanger at the end of the uh, ghost campaign but in my opinion I, just leave it be just leave it be we already got ghost 2 in the form of another game but um it, yeah so ghost also had extinction and extinction was a cool thought on like spinoff on zombies and survival and everything like that but they didn't really expand on it it's one of the worst multiplayers that i've ever played in my life as far as call of duty goes uh besides world war ii it is the other call of duty that i cannot stand um besides call i would say besides world war ii and modern warfare uh those two i just i, I for respawn at least the maps suck for the most part except the decent like there's only a couple decent maps in that game on ps4 and xbox one the frame rate issues are just atrocious the mounting it's, it's just like no call Duty, like call of duty shouldn't have mounting like and i'm not talking about warzone at all like in this video the time to kill is really fast in this game because the hit detection is so good and that's not a, really a, a huge issue but the camping in this game is ridiculous so you got people in one building all the way across the map in the cafeteria three shotting me with a remington thermal or an l like one of the lmgs with a thermal sight on it and i'm all the way on the other side of the map in a different building and i'm getting three taps so that's not fun advanced warfare kevin spacey e tier don't really got anything to say about it i don't like jetpack games but i will give credit where it's due sledgehammer games tried to make something new i can give them props for that that's that's all I can really do. I heard that Zombies was really good. I didn't really play Zombies for this game. I played multiplayer and it's only fun for a couple games and then I'm bored. Yeah, and I mean, the campaign I heard was okay, but yeah, so anyways, Black Ops 3, uh, A tier. I don't like Jetpack games, but I know how good Black Ops 3 is as, as a full game. However, I almost want to pull it down to B tier based on the fact that the supply drops and microtransactions in this game are so predatory and so fucking ridiculous that it's just laughable. I, I truly hate this game as far as supply drops go. I'm not even gonna try and explain myself because everyone, if you have common sense, you know why Black Ops 3 has bad microtransactions. It doesn't matter if you get crypto keys or not. It doesn't matter if you have triple plays that you can grind for, it doesn't matter. Supply drops are bad and that's the end of the story. However, as a full game, Zombies is awesome in this game. It's a lot of fun playing with friends and even playing solo, I had a lot of fun playing it. The multiplayer, although it's a jetpack game, there's a lot of weapons to choose from, just from the base game, and it's really fluid and fun. The campaign sucks though. So you know what? I'm gonna put it in B tier because we're not basing this off a of multiplayer. We're basing it off the whole game. So I'm gonna put this in B tier because the campaign has nothing to do with Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2. It's like they completely forgot that th these two games and World at War existed. The campaign is so bad that I just feel like it doesn't deserve the A tier as a full game. You know, two of the modes are awesome. I feel like coming off of Black Ops 1 and Black Ops 2, people are like, yo, what's the next campaign gonna be about? And they just didn't, like, it just didn't matter. I'll leave it at an A tier. I'll leave it at an A tier. Infinite Warfare, this is gonna cause some controversy. B tier. The campaign is awesome. The multiplayer is fluid and fun. It's very similar to Black Ops 3, almost like they were told to make it as as close to black ops 3 as possible especially with specialists oh that's another thing specialists i don't like specialists but they're 
hard to use in this game like they're challenging and there's a skill requirement for using certain specialists in this game yeah i'll give that the black ops 3 however uh in infinite warfare it kind of seemed like it was a dollar general version of bo3 there were some unique ones i can't remember the names of them but you know the hit detection is really good in this game it's better than black ops 3 and i feel like the movement is a little bit more smooth uh than black ops 3 but in my opinion i have more fun playing black ops 3 it's way more colorful and all that stuff and infinite warfare it's just it's got like it's got the iw feel it's pretty much ghosts but in jetpack form but it's better than ghosts in my opinion infinite warfare zombies is awesome so b tier modern warfare remastered i was not going to include this game on this list however i'm going to put this at a b tier as well modern warfare remastered has the best microtransaction system of any call of duty i would put it at an a tier but it's a remastered game everyone already knows what the can happens in the campaign everyone already knows how the multiplayer plays it doesn't play just like call of duty 4 at all this game had dlc weapons had tons of content after the initial launch they did so many things with the events in this game bro it was just awesome it was awesome what they did for days of summer and all that stuff it's a really fun game to play the time to kill is fast and when i was playing it in its prime it really wasn't a lot of camping there's more camping now than there was back in 2017 or whenever this game came out 2016 2017 i can't remember war 2 own category i fucking hate this game i don't really need to explain why i hate world war 2 everyone knows that i don't like world war ii first of all the game didn't even work for the first week or two for certain platforms and that, that's just inexcusable uh and then obviously microtransactions and all that stuff and just i just don't like this game the maps suck ass the base maps in the game suck ass requisitions i just fucking don't like it black ops 4 i'm gonna put it as a c tier i had a lot of fun on black ops 4 for the first couple weeks i played some zombies there was blackout obviously i dug blackout for a little bit and then I'm, i just was like i'm not really that big of a br person so i didn't really play it as much there's no campaign in this game and the specialist story is not in place of campaign that's fucking dumb they tried to do something in place of campaign which i can appreciate because honestly a lot of people did not think there was going to be a campaign because there wasn't but they had the story for specialists in place in the tutorial thing i'll give you a little bit of a push for that that's that's okay you know I'll, I'll give that to you multiplayer was a lot of fun in this game however i don't like specialists and i feel like the specialists were dumbed down from bo3 i feel like bo3's specialists required some type of skill versus bo4 you don't even have to aim in with your tempest on bo4 but it's just it's ridiculous and then they added the equipment and i just think that the equipment just gave noobs an easier way to kill people which really pisses me off so screw that i didn't really play a lot of zombies i played a couple games it was fun but it just wasn't anything addicting i like that they remastered five with this game however without the characters there it's kind of like meh modern warfare has a really good campaign pretty good i'm not gonna lie modern warfare has a really good campaign i really like how ballsy modern warfare's campaign is because after i'd say bo2 and so i guess you could consider ghosts after that i didn't think that call of duty campaigns really had balls even more even ghost campaign didn't have that much of balls to like do something crazy i feel like black ops 2's campaign was the last campaign to really do that spec ops is just fucking atrocious in this game so that i don't even know what to say about that it's uh god it was awful we're not gonna talk about warzone because it's completely separate However, the engine for Modern Warfare is beautiful and the movement is very good. Uh, it's a skill gap that movement is in this game. However, that's only if people move. And that's my big beef with Modern Warfare's multiplayer is that it's almost as campy as Ghosts. It's not as campy as Ghosts. It's not as bad as Ghosts, but it's 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 campy. It's campy. I'm 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 debating on putting this to the C tier. I, I'm debating between C and D. Modern Warfare for multiplayer as a whole is not that great, in my opinion. I will give it props where it's due. So hear me out. Gunsmith. Amazing. I love Gunsmith. Best thing that they could have done. The sound design in Modern Warfare is as realistic as you can get for the most part. Dead silence should have been a perk, but I feel like they designed that for a reason. They also had the whole mini map thing in the controversy just make the mini map the way it was i got to play the multiplayer early and i said i was mixed on the whole radar thing but then like once i played it more without the radar i was like no put the regular mini map back there's only a couple good multiplayer maps in this game as far as the base game goes hackney yard and gunrunner everyone's like oh shoot house and shipment but like they're so repetitive shoot house and shipment are repetitive they're great for camos but they're repetitive and then if you put the camping on top of it god i'm make, i'm just kind of dwindling this down because like sounds like the only thing that's really good about this game is the campaign and the gunsmith um and the sound design so i'll talk about snd real quick 
search and destroy in this game is a lot of fun and it's you know classic search and destroy and it's got a very big skill gap in it you know search and destroy is very good in modern warfare it's one of the more popular modes but for respawn modern warfare sucks time to kill is really fast which is not a bad thing but it's just it's one of those things where the mounting and the camping gets so excessive that the time to kill is really annoying because kids can just mount anywhere and camp anywhere and get a quick kill I i'll put it at c because it's it's bearable but i can't play it for long okay so cold war um the thing about cold war multiplayer is that it's better than modern warfare's respawn multiplayer however search and destroy in modern warfare has a bigger skill gap than search and destroy in this game say campaigns are both on an even level i thought it was really cool how they did the campaign for cold war though there's a ton of different scenarios that you can do there's side missions and certain things like that that's really dope that's really really cool i'm gonna keep modern warfare in c tier because modern warfare's multiplayer is also the first call of duty game with crossplay uh cold war also has crossplay the streak system in this game makes me want to put this game down here at d tier okay i'm gonna keep this right here for now while i talk cold war has pretty much permanent requisitions probably worse than requisitions because with requisitions in world war ii if you got all your all your streaks you couldn't get them again with cold war they just take a rest and then they you can get them again it's ridiculous i it's it's just free streaks i can't stand it i can't fucking stand it the zombies in cold war for now because we only have one map it's simple fun and easy and it's really cool to play with friends i really like the zombies in this game because of how simple it is i'm, I'm gonna put it at c i'm gonna put it at c so yeah this will be my this will be my tier list i think that's good we got call of duty 4 modern warfare 2 black ops and black ops 2 at s tier world of war mw3 and bo3 at a tier you got call of duty 2 infinite warfare and mwr at b tier you got call of duty 1 black ops 4 modern warfare and cold war at c tier call of duty 3 at d tier aw and e tier ghost in the garbage tier and world war 2 is in its own freaking category i'll see you guys later <laughs> goodbye